Coming up next in the UFC light heavyweight division encounter. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kicks, jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 198 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. What a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, big head kick there. Take 
body kick. Try to establish that jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice straight punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, huge head kick. Well, missed on that one. Beautiful head kick. Big kick land. What a tricky head kick. Slips. Big ball. The punch. Yeah, good shot, good shot. Tags him with the left. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big leg kick land. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll work. Yeah. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. Nice counter right hook there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Beautiful punch. Superman punch. Final seconds here of round one. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Oh! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And just misses with that big right hand. 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Let them go now. Head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right here. Nice head kick. Single collar tie now. Great punch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Body kick lands. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice, sneaky head kick. Big leg kick lands. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Boxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just shows the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice punch there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. seconds. Good punch land. Ten minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Right. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch. Just out of range with that left hook. Slipped that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. He loaded up to that right too. Big punch land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Right hand upstairs! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, big head kick. the turtle in that kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, single collar tie now. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch, Lance. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes as they had the last time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Check that kick as well. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That one's not hit. Nice strike. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big punch land through the middle. Big body to land. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages. Just missed the technique on the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, wow. Head kick. Oh, what a punch. Lancing right hand up. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. 
All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very bad. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strikes until he makes them stop throwing. Beautiful strike. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Jeez Louise. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice strike. Oh, oh, see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. And they separate. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Just over three minutes now to go. Circling to his right. Leg kick. Oh, he goes with the punch and slams. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Gets up again here, but hurt him. Straight punch lands. Mixes it, it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. He blocks the shot. Nice one, two there. Oh, he moved right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. Well, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. Declared the winner by TKO. Oh, yeah. well,
concentration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.